Hello everybody, this is a quick tutorial on the volume of a cylinder. Um, the first thing we've got to do is we need to import the maths module because otherwise we can't use the pi function. The next thing we need to do is we need to do this. This makes the variable name come from an input that's the response to what is your name. So you'll type after that when the program works. So if we want to test that, we'll go file, save. You will have saved your file with a, with a name. Then we'll go run, or we can press F5. And we'll see over here, it says, what is your name? And then what I'll do is an, I'll type my name in here. And it's gone into the name input. I can test that by typing name and then enter and it tells me what the variable name is here if you have a look in here it, that's a way of testing to see how far your program's already got because at the moment i don't have a print line so it's not going to automatically show me the value of name it's going to um it's going to be sitting there inside the memory of the computer so i type name enter and it tells me what it is next line i've got to do is i need to have a cylinder length input so this is the next line cylinder length equals input and i want it to say hi and put my name in there now the plus the name and the plus means to add this into the text now it'll do that without any spaces so can you see there i've put a space before and i've put a space after inside the text area it asks me the question what is the length of your cylinder question mark and then another space so that's the next line so if i run that again let's go f5 now I'll save it, yes. Now it runs here, it says, what is my name? I'll type the name Alex, I'll press enter. Then it says, hi Alex, it's already used my name variable. Sorry, yes, my name variable. It's picked out the value of Alex and it's put it into the sentence, what is the length of your cylinder? So if I type seven now and I press enter, that's just gone into my cylinder underscore length. It's just gone into this variable here. But I don't know yet because my program doesn't tell the computer to tell me what the value is. So if I type in here, cylinder underscore length, and just press enter just to see what the value is, it says, oh, seven. So that's right, isn't it? It's worked it out as seven. Now I'm on to the next stage. So, so far I have said, here's my name. Here's my cylinder length. And the computer's asked me the question and stored the value values the next thing it needs to do is it actually needs to do this because if i start using cylinder length which is seven for instance seven is an integer if i use an integer in a calculation with pi which is not an integer because it's got lots of decimal places this um, computer program will give me an error so i need to change this into a float value value so cylinder length equals float cylinder length what that does is it takes the value of the cylinder length number so seven and it'll make it into the float version which is 7.0 and it'll put it back into the original cylinder length memory location or the box where it stores the number seven is now got 7.0 in it so let's go and run this and see what that that does save that what is my name alex what is my cylinder length let's say eight this time let's press enter now it's just done it just did the computer's just done that and then it's immediately done this but there's no print so it's not going to tell me what that value is let's see if i type in there cylinder length cylinder underscore length if i have a look now it should say 8.0 press enter 8.0 so it's now a float so it's, that's gonna that's gonna save us a lot of messing around later Okay, so here's the next part. I need an input which gives me units. So it's going to ask me units. Why? Do, how do I know that I want this line here? Well, it comes from the definition. Here's the screen definition. This is what I want to see when I run the program, this text. The only thing that's going to change here is things like Alex will change, that number will change, maybe the units will change. Uh, maybe the radius will change 
but the rest of the text around it will be the same. So units, that part there goes underneath here. So now input, what units will you use for the cylinder length? Now units is just an M for meters, CM for centimeters, etc. So I don't need to change that into a float. Now this is probably the most complex line that uh, that's in the program. Let's have a look at this, see if you understand this. Now, what I've got to do is, let's go back to the beginning so I can see. It says the cylinder radius is going to be input. It's going to be the input after it's asked me this question. Thank you. And in there it'll say Alex, space. Your cylinder is, and it's going to change the cylinder length into a string because I need my cylinder length number to be changed into a text. When we write down the when we write down numbers in our books or when we type numbers in our computers, we don't need to keep telling ourselves, oh, that's actually a number eight or that's actually just the character eight. But when we're doing computers, computers need to know, is this actually STR? Is it actually a string or is that actually a number? And it gets a bit confused and can give you error messages if you don't have the right thing running. Um, cylinder length plus. Now that's a space. All that is is just a space in between cylinder length and the units. Units is going to come out meters or centimeters or whatever you already put in the line before. What is the radius of your, now this is quite a long line so it goes over here, in units. So have a read through of that. I'll just move this across so you can see the whole thing. And that's the whole line there. If you're not sure, just type that line in and try to understand it after you've used it and run it. The next line is a little bit shorter. So the next line says, I need to now say the radius of my cylinder is changed to a float value. Because when the line above, this line here, is going to give me an integer value probably. I'm going to type in there something like 1. Now if I typed in 1.5, it would automatically be held as a string. But just to make sure I'm on the safe side, I I do that. Whatever the value of cylinder dot rate underscore radius is, I make it into a float version, which means I definitely make sure there's a decimal place in there. That just saves any messing around later on. Next thing is I need to work out what my volume is. Now I'm ready for my volume because I've got all my variables. My volume is going to be volume equals math dot pi, because I know that volume is equal to pi r squared, which is that part there, radius squared, and then multiply by the cylinder length. So this, remember the asterisk is multiply, multiply. If I get something and I multiply it by itself, that's squaring it. So that's the square there. And this is the other piece you've got to be careful of. Math dot pi is going to give me my 3.14, etc, etc. Now, if you get an error message with this, it's probably because you didn't type this at the beginning. I've got to import the math module first. Once I've done that, I'm going to print out my answer. So let's go and put let's go and put this underneath. Control V. And this says, thanks for the information. And that will be my name, Alex. The volume of your cylinder is, and it's going to give me the string value, so the character that comes from the volume answer. So this comes from this calculation. And it's also going to add on the end. And that's not a plus as in add on two numbers. That's a plus as in put two pieces of type, typing or writing next to each other with no space. That's what that means. And also the string value of units. And then a three at the end. So that actually probably doesn't need, I probably don't need string there. You can test it with that if you want to because units will already be a string. But the three is for cube. Um, at the moment, we don't know how to make an, a superscript 3, which is like a little cube sign. So we're just going to use a, an uppercase 3. All right, so let's test this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to save it. So I can use File, Save, or I can use C there, Control S. So Control S. Now I'm going to do F5, or I can go Run, Module. And have a look down here. I'm looking down here now. Uh, my name is Alex. What is the length of your cylinder? Let's say it's nine meters and so nine. What units are you going to use? 
meters. Enter. Thank you, Alex. Your cylinder is nine meters long. What is the radius of your cylinder in meters? What is the radius? Let's say it's uh, seven meters. That's pretty wide, pretty big cylinder. It's like a great big water tank. Thanks for the information, Alex. The volume of your cylinder, your cylinder is, I'm just gonna pull this across because, oop, where did that go? Let's go here, let's just have a look here. That's 13, 1385.44 meters cubed. That's a big cylinder. Um, each meter cubed of water weighs one ton. So that's something that weighs nearly one and a half tons. That's a pretty big water tank. Anyway, so that works.